Go, go, go! I can't see shit! Holy crap! They're coming for me! Holy fuck! Fuck out of my way, you stupid zombie! Here they come! I made it! Phew! Night gameplay, speed times two and power times two. Agility and power points are doubled at night. Escaping a pursuit gives you a big agility boost, uh, agility point burst. The longer you play outside the safe zones, the more survival rank points you'll get. Huh. Interesting. So I got a nice agility point boost. Interesting. I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Got to report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. Or at least you think, right? That's what he thinks. Alright, report to Bre report to Brecken, excuse me. Oh, what's this? Alfie's looking for you. He's in his workshop downstairs. More side content, great. Congrats, you survived the night. Too bad that run didn't work out. So this is headquarters. Is it Alfie's in the shop down below? I wonder if that means there's anything down here. Good work taking out that Antizin lab. You've saved a lot of lives. Now it's only a matter of time before someone starts another one. The danger is all those empty Antizin bottles out there. People throw them away. And then anyone can refill them with whatever they like. You better start destroying them. We've collected all the bottles in the tower. Plus, Brecken is offering a $10 bounty for every bottle you runners find out there. So if I find extra bottles, I can trade them into her. Okay. Well. Everyone here is sick. Whoa, slow down. <laughs> Just a radio. Don, I thought it was a collectible or something. Nope. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Let's get this uh, next quest. I mean, we need Anson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. No, we didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. 
Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? Get the fuck out. You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. All right. Survivor rank up for completing that last uh, quest. Here we go. So what have we got? We got elemental throwing stars, barter, or crafting expertise. Get better at crafting, craft more items from the same material. Let's do that. That sounds good. Shops and the quartermaster have new inventory. What's this blue arrow? Well, that's all the way downstairs, so I'm not going to do that yet. Let me guess. I gotta go to the elevator, right? Yep. Going down. We'll see what this blue thing is. Brecken is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself, Rise. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE's secret document, well, this is the perfect opportunity. Hmm. I, uh, no one, uh, in your face, I, uh... What's that noise? You know, Alfie, right? He's our handyman. Sit in the workshop. This way. Oh. You're Alfie? That's me. Electricity. Building maintenance. I keep this place running somehow. Glad you're here. I was just about to call you. What's the problem? Well, it's good news, bad news. The good news is that you restore the lights in the Cauldron District. The bad news is that it blew out the grid near the overpass. It's blacker than your pants pocket over there. So, what? you need to switch mean? back on? There are two substations. Flick, flick, you switch them on. The order doesn't matter. Then you throw the master in the main station, and it'll light up like a Christmas tree. I think I can do it. Of course you can do it. Any runner could do it. But there's a catch. Shutting off the lights has created a little black patch for the volatiles. Bunches of them are gathering there after sundown. So I've rigged a trap. It's already in place. All set to go. Now... If you can get in there and restore the power after it's dark, we can fry a whole lot of freaks in one shot. Hmm. After dark? That's that's going to be a lot dicier. Sure. That's why no one's volunteered for this job. But I'm thinking maybe you're a bit tougher than the rest of these guys. Just an impression. Let's just say I'm here to help. Really? Good intentions, huh? Hope you've got some guts, or you won't last long. <sighs> so I need to do this at night, huh? It's a night mission. Voltage. Danger, danger. High voltage. It's a side quest. Let's take a look at the map. Two different substations. An extra airdrop if I want to do it.
Where's the pact? Whoa, way over there. It's further. Oh, I kind of want to continue with the story, you know? Here we go. We'll do this. But I think I don't, I don't think I have to do this now. I think I could go to sleep and do it tomorrow. Right? I don't have to do it at night, necessarily. They don't force you to. Crane, can you hear me? Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's... Um... Listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but... He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I, look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Just, just come back in one piece, alright? <laughs> Amir was the best man I've ever known. Actually, I only knew two men. <laughs> A serial killer and a serial masturbator. So, in regards to them, he was definitely better. Alright, let's go to sleep. Let's do this next one during the day. Make it easier. Alright.